square. You gotta be in the square. All right, not quite in the square, but almost there. Um, so, everybody, ladies, they represent a solid. Each person is an atom or a molecule. They represent a solid. The, uh, each person is an individual molecule or an individual atom, and they are tightly packed in a small space. Now, if I were to take Stefan, Stefan's going to be like a knife that's cutting into the solid. Oh. What would happen to the solid if I sent Stefan in to, to push through the middle of the solid? What would happen? It's going to break apart. So Stefan, go ahead and pass through the middle of the solid. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go once around the square. They're in the square. I want you to travel once around the square. Unlike a solid, a liquid has the ability to slide and move but they're still more closely packed than a gas. However, they have a, a range of motion that is different than a solid. A solid, the particles can move slightly back and forth. It's called Brownian motion. A liquid can slide past each other and actually move around the container, but the liquid still has a definite volume. All right, now, if I were to send Alyssa in, Alyssa, come on. I want you to walk through the middle of the liquid without disturbing the particles. Let's see if this can be done. So she had to go slowly and there was a little bit of bumping, but for the most part, the liquid was able to stay together, correct? Unlike the solid, which came apart when I tried to pass an object through the solid. All right, thank you. All right, Emelian is a lone gas particle inside of a container. Gas particles have lots of room they, to move around. They have no definite volume and no definite shape. They can bounce around wherever they want. And if I were to open up the box, Emelian could go anywhere in the room that he wants. Jason, I want you to pass through the container where Emelian is located. All right, did they really interact with each other? No. Not that much. When you walk through the air, you can feel the molecules pushing on you. That's the breeze or the wind that you feel, but it's not really difficult to move through. Think about moving through water. We talked about this before. It's more difficult to walk through water, especially if it's higher than about your waist, than it is to walk through a column of air. All right. Thank